Hey guys, Bradm73 here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 as we uh, continue to try to earn tons of money for, um, wait, for what? I don't even know what for anymore. Of course I do. For the uh, Big Bud. Oh, we need to, um, we need to do some things here as, such as get this guy started. He's going to be picking up the rest of the, um, Barley, which is our new combine there, and then this guy is actually going to do the rest of the canola. So what I'm hoping will happen here is um, I'm going to try to feed some canola in, because if, if you have a plant in your, in your bin or in your combine, I don't think it'll pick up the rest of the plant. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, so we need to try to get it to right about there. And hopefully it'll just, you know, pick up the the canola and not the uh, barley. Uh, the next thing we need to do is... This guy is going to need... To follow along with the, uh, uh, can I even hire him? There he goes. Yeah, he's gonna want to follow along with with that. Um, and then we also need to pick up the. The forge wagon, so that we can get the re you know we can pick up the. the straw on the ground um, so that we have extra for the pigs to use. And so we're going to drive this. I know I've got some straw in there already. Actually, it probably would just be good for me to empty this out first. 2,200 hours. Um, so I've, I've gone a little bit past you know, the you know, where I was at last night. And the reason why I did that was, well, I wanted to, I essentially, I wanted to, um, I wanted to be at a place where I could essentially do all the seeding and everything as quickly as I can. And I really need to unhire this guy. There we go. And we're just going to, Send him back down this way. Do we need to get this done? I know I'm negative on money. Actually, I did another job down here at field 26. Uh, I think it was like a harvesting job. So we pretty much have it almost to, you know, the, the minimum that it'll go. So this is probably going to be the next field that I buy. Um... What's going on over here on field 20? Oh, just another one of those missions. Um, so anyway, let's go. Uh, we're going to pick up the rest of the uh, this stuff. Helper G has completed their task. But the Oh, it's the combine. We want to get that sorted pretty quickly there we go because he's got, he's got part of the combine sticking out on the railroad track and we don't want any railroad accidents here ah. no You kind of have to wait until like the crop gets directly in front of the like the cab in order to hire your worker sometimes it just does it that way and it's really annoying okay so now we're gonna turn this around
And let's see here. Oh man, I just realized this guy we need to fill up with corn. And I guess we only got 32,000 corn. No, didn't we take some corn up to the pigs? I would have swore we did. Ugh. We're going to have a lot more to do this episode. For some reason, I was like, I'm going to fast forward time. But um, I guess it's not going to work that way. <laughs> Because all my tractors are out doing things. Well, I take that back. One is not doing anything, but... Well, actually, he could be planting some corn. I need to take all of this corn up to the pigs. And then I'm going to have to really consider selling some pigs so that we can buy that uh, pig trailer to essentially, you know, sell pigs... To the pig piggies, the, the pig selling place. You know, what <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. What is that, Mary's Farm? Yeah, it's down by Mary's Farm on the lower right of the map. But I just want to take this up because I know the pigs are going to want it right now. We have like 330 pigs now, I think. And I know that my magic number was, you know, I wanted to have about 200 right now. Um, maybe later on down the road, you know, we'll upgrade to ah, a lot more pigs. But for right now, I think what we got is pretty good. So let's let's take a look. 332 pigs. I mean, that didn't even fill that up halfway. So, yeah. So we're going to take this back down. And offload the... Uh, what, is, what are we going to be offloading? We're going to be offloading barley. Try, try doing some off-roading from the first-person perspective. Helper D has completed their task. <clears throat> I don't know which helper Helper D is, but we'll eventually find out. And I am just hot-rodding it across the farm because I want to be able to, uh, to get where I want to go. As fast as possible. Because we haven't even started the seeding yet. Whoa! Stay away train. Go. Here we are. Okay, so this guy's finished. So we gotta turn him around. Oh, I bet the combine. Well, yeah, the combine's definitely finished. Are the worker there? And then I'll just get this guy started, I guess. So we'll just, uh, yeah, this should be pretty good for a while. Helper eye is blocked by an object. Are you kidding me? There we go. So 
so we're um, yeah we're, we'll carry this down or we'll turn around we'll fill this up and then um, carry it back to the cell point I think we do need some money did I just fill up the I did didn't I <laughs> I gotta pour that out okay there we go So oddly enough, can I fill, yeah, I guess I did fill it up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take this up, sell everything that we can. And I think that like the, the last load we're going to save. gonna go now this is fun you know I'm actually doing stuff on the farm finally you know we're finally starting to make money especially with this next harvest we're gonna be making like you know pretty good money fairly quickly because we've got two cedars you know, we're just, we'll, we'll be going much more quickly, I think. All right. And we'll have to get the, um, the other little tractors uh, going again with the uh, plowing. And actually, <clears throat> I should get some, I should get one of the tractors working on seeding. Because that's kind of like everything that we're going to do in this episode. Well, actually, what I what I might end up doing is like time lapsing all the seeding that I do, and so I'm gonna try something different maybe this episode, and we'll see you know see how it works for me from a you know a video rendering and production side, and uh, and then you guys let me know whether or not you like it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, you like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, there we go. Let's, um, yeah, let's get this guy. Um... Yeah, we can move him up. He can kind of get out of the way of the other tractor and the train. Go! Grain tank is almost full yet again. Go, go, go. Why is the eye guy drop up? Uh, oh, that's the grain tank. I never noticed that before. There he is. So I guess we'll go after him really quick. Ooh, he might have the whole thing right here. Ah! Let's see if we can... Oh yeah, he's gonna have the whole... 
the whole row. Um, I think I also did another job on field 11. I think I did like a, one of those fertilizing fertilizer spraying jobs just to um, you know get a little bit of extra money. Um, actually, uh, it might have only been like fifteen hundred dollars. It was more to get that progression to lower the price um, on that field. So anyway, I did that. That was kind of cool. All right, he's going to be finished. Let's start him up. Now, I think as soon as I get the um, like the angled part of field 24 done, or 23, I'm sorry, um, we're going to pull that little... We're going to pull that little seeder up to the main farm and uh, get him seeding the uh, uh, the corn. And it's like, it's kind of like times like this, I really wish I had a bigger, uh, like a larger corn seeder. And we just cannot, whoa. We just can't really afford it right now. However... You know, I might actually want to, and you know, and wait a second. I turn my turn my thingy do bobber off here. There we go. I might want to invest in that um, the pig transport because you know we'll we'll be able to get. Um, let's see here. We're gonna be able to get about a. An additional $120,000, more than $120,000, probably $125,000, $130,000, something like that, uh, by selling off the, you know, 133 pigs. So we're going to have to sell, you know, 30 or 30, 24 plus 7 is... Uh, 30, ah, oh, I thought I was full. Um, let's see, 24 plus 7 is, what, 31? Did I totally, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 31. So we'll need to sell 31 pigs in order to, you know, get get above the, um, the poverty level that I'm at right now. And actually, it might go it might be even less than 31 pigs so we're gonna see then we're gonna buy the uh, we're gonna buy the trailer and then we'll just have to sell a lot of pigs with the trailer go Then this field will finally be finished, yay. And um, and we'll be able to plant all the oilseed radishes with, you know, two... Uh... Oh, I didn't use the scoop this time. Oh, well. Let's put the pipe out on him. Pull this up. Go back to the map here. So this is almost finished here. Helper one has completed their t oh, wait. What? Where was another helper? I don't... It's weird. What was the other helper? I 
It's definitely not the other um, plow. Well, actually, let's go down. Let's go down to the far side of the field here because we've got we do have some more down here. So who's looking forward to the, who's going to be picking up Big Bud on day one, and who is going to be like, nah? Let me know in the comments because I'm I'm kind of interested to know whether you know what you guys are are thinking about the Big Bud DLC right now. Like, you think it's pretty cool? Do you think like do you not care? Or you know do you hate it and wish it was John Deere? <laughs> You know, I will be absolutely shocked if one day Farming Simulator lands John Deere. I just will be. People are probably, you know, you guys will probably ask me why, but um, just, you know, there's a lot of licensing complexities uh, with John Deere, and I just don't think that's going to allow it to happen ever. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. guys may or may not get a, a kick out of this but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway wait I want to see how okay the straw's still pretty high up there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of come out to the yard here to somewhere that I don't usually you know drive through that often I'll say maybe like right through here and I'm just gonna say control I and we're just gonna offload this I'm gonna offload all that straw don't forget to hit control I again oh oh wait a second See, okay. Let's see. Have I planted anything? Wait, let's what's going on here? First of all, fruit types. Okay, so there's nothing planted, nothing fertilized. So yeah, we, we've got to do the oil seed radishes. So I can just take this up, offload all this. Because I think Aren't the pigs full with uh, barley? Yeah, they're full there. Now, eventually, we might want to take take some uh, canola up to them. I think we did. We didn't end up selling any canola, did we? I, I don't remember now. Okay. Don't really need this. Where's my other cedar? I know I bought a big giant, a second cedar. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't see it anywhere. There's the baler over there. Like, I thought bailing was going to be, like, my, you know, big money maker. Okay, so let's see here. Oil seed radishes. And go. Oh, I know where the second seeder is. Go. It's right up here. It's near, what is it, field 19? Yeah, I can see the red right in front of me. Oh, another thing too, 
Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning of the episode, but Windows, my last episode, episode, I guess, 40, didn't have any game sound. And what had happened was, um, I guess Microsoft must have ran some kind of an update. And it basically just reset all of the system sounds to their default levels. or the, and, and all of the, everything like your speakers and all that stuff. Now, I kind of have a complicated setup. Um, not only do I have a monitor with integrated audio, but I have um, a Logitech G30 set or G35 headset, not a G37, that would be something else. Um, I've got the G35 headset, I have my Oculus Rift, and then for microphones I have the, the Rift headset, my G35, and a Yeti Pro, or no, maybe it's just a Yeti. I don't think I have the Yeti Pro, and it basically sets, you know, if I have like spe specific um, audio channels that I want to record, for example, um, like with, uh, with OBS, you know, I'll have like one, one channel set up to do, oh, like, um, Well, well, for recording, I, I have, there, there's like your, you know, system sound or primary sound, and then you have an auxiliary mic, and that's what allows you to, to record more than one um, audio source. And so um, it reset those to system default, and, um, and when I went, when I saw that there was an issue, um, I actually went in and, oh wait, I need to use this guy right here um i basically only set up my my yeti mic for voice um and then i but i forgot to reset the uh the one for the game sound so that's why there was no game audio last time and i kind of felt really super herpy derp about that but it's kind of the way it goes sometimes with these things all right Um, so we don't want to be on barley. We want to be on oilseed radishes. Okay, so I'm going to let these guys do their thing for a bit. And then we're going to go teleport up to where the pigs are. Right here. And we need... I believe it's 24,000. So I'm just going to go, we're going to sell enough pigs to give us 24,000. No, I need to sell two more. I knew that. Confirm. So now we've got 24,000. Um, now we need to go to anim aminals, and I am saying that wrong on purpose. 24,000, we're going to buy this, yes. And hopefully, hopefully this will be, this pickup truck will be enough to pull it. I think it's kind of, I, I think... I just don't know. I can't remember if it's kind of tight or not. So we're going to go this way. A way less traveled. We don't get out this way too often, do we? No, we don't. And we're in a hurry because that's why we're going 76 miles an hour. Blowing through all the speed zones. Thankfully, there are no police. That would actually be cool if, you know, there were police... You know, or you know, something like that that you know would would clock you sometimes and you know give you a ticket. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but <laughs> but I th I think it would be a neat idea if they did something like that. Okay. 
Okay. And here is our new, is this a Joskin trailer? Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit back heavy. So I don't know how how good this thing is going to actually pull with a bunch of pigs in the back. We might have to get one of the little red case tractors or something to to do it. Cuz I oh my gosh, yeah. It's just, it's way too light on the front. And even the small case tractors are not ideal for pulling those. I'll be honest. So I also want to be keeping an eye on, um, whoa, I want to be keeping an eye on uh, whether or not either of my helpers are still working or fi have finished their work. Uh, we can kind of keep an eye on it up here as well. So F is still good, G is still good, B, you know, he'll just kind of finish whenever he finishes, I guess. We're going to hopefully sell some pigs. Ah, yeah, it's really, so we need to back this into place here and now we're loading. Oh, only nine? Oh, I thought I would have swore that ho held 12. Ugh. Well, it is what it is. So we're going to load nine pigs. As, as our finances dwindle. going full speed ahead guys oh man this is so <laughs> okay helper F yeah and we'll put him right over onto field what is that 24 yes working the oil seed radishes yeah, so the next episode we come back on, it will, I promise you guys, it will be daylight. I promise. But I, I, I do like working at night. It's kind of funny. I mean, not ha ha funny, but it's, you know, you, when I drive around in the summertime, you know, especially like if I'm coming back from, from our farm at night, um, you know, you'll see like a lot of farmers out working at night after dark, you know, nine, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock sometimes if it's real, you know, if I come back really late. So 2300 hours, that would be 11 p.m. And I'm really kind of nervous here driving this pig trailer. Actually, it's not really that bad. And this should get us about $10,000 or so. I'm gonna have to. 
Okay, so... I think the... The tractor working on field or seating for field 12, I think he needs to be moved. Field what? 14? Whoa. All right, pigs. You're my first load of pigs that I'm selling on hard mode. Now we just sell to so 10,800 per load. Yes. Yay, we have money again. So, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. He's going to be done momentarily. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, um, again, I'm going to fast forward through this and. Basically, what will happen is um, I'll come back. It should be morning, and I'll see how much time we have left at that point. And, um, you know, so we can kind of get a game plan on what to do. Because I, I do want to do this fairly quickly, but I don't want to do everything, you know, on screen, as it were. Well, it'll be on screen. Just um, we need to kind of hurry up because we've got that Big Bud DLC coming literally a week from today, I think. So um, we'll be right back. got our uh, oilseed radish all ready to go and uh, we'll just get busy with that so it's 7 14 in the morning uh, we were up $21,000 again we had all of our expenses hit at midnight which is never fun but um, that's part of being in business I guess and we're gonna uh, plant I guess we'll just go ahead and plant um, soybeans down here and I would like to plant some sunflowers because I think the sunflower price was going up but um, <clears throat> I think it's just gonna take way too long with the smaller cedar that we have uh, for the, for corn and everything so we're not gonna do that just yet um, we're gonna get up here And why did I just, I don't know why I just folded that up, but I did. And I'm not going to start seeding just yet because I want to, I want the cultivator to get a few rows uh, ahead. So we've got, um, yeah, these guys are going around just fine. So let's get back on to selling the, of the pigs. And um, once we get up to Mary or down to Mary's farm, um, I'll take a quick look at um, you know how many pigs that we have left, uh, and how much money or additional money uh, in this day uh, I'm looking to to earn. Uh, now I can I can look around the field. I can tell that there are several fields that are ready to be um, they're ready to be harvested. So I will probably take the time in between this 
episode and the next episode to um, you know to kind of get that uh, you know to do some jobs to get that that money up so that um, you know we can really start paying down the loan and getting ready for um, you know the the big buds next week. And I hope to have, like, a Big Bud, like, here's all the Big Bud stuff video. I, I should have that up probably, oh, you know, Monday night of next week, Eastern Standard Time, or uh, Tuesday, for sure. Tuesday the 9th. I think it's the 9th. Is that right? Comes out on May 9th. Barring any kind of major catastrophe. Yeah, that's next Tuesday, a week from today. And we're going to sell all those. Confirm. <clears throat> And we'll just head back to the farm. And basically we just keep doing this until you know, as our as our guys seed. Nothing special about seeding, right? Now it, ah. Now let's just take a look at the map really quick. Um this, I think, is the last field that we really need to do. Um, and this is going to be, like, probably... Actually, yeah, I, this should be the last mission that we'll have to do on this field. I would really, really, really... Ooh, a JCB fast track. I sh oh, no, this isn't the fast track. This is Well, it is a fast track, but it's not... Wait, is this the one that I'm usually... No, no, no. I don't know now. Not sure if this is like the traditional fast track that I'm used to using. We're going to do this job really quick. Because I think this will put us at, you know, we won't have to do any more jobs on this field to get an, any lower of a price. Now, obviously, obviously we can do the jobs just to make the money. But, um, you know, I'd rather own this field. Oh, look at our guys working over there. Look at that dark earth. And the green of the oilseed radishes. That is nice. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll... Um, I'll find some of these fields that need to be harvested and just, or plowed, whatever, you know, whatever I need to do, whatever I need to do to make money, no job is too big or small. And I promise you guys, I'm not cheating any of this money in. I'm, I'm doing everything. You know, if I'm, you know, if you, if you stop it, you know, see the end of one episode and you come back for the next episode and you see that, oh, Brad's made another, another hundred thousand dollars. I'm not cheating that in. I am actually doing doing jobs or doing work on the farm to get that money. Because that's, you know, that's how I like to make the money in the game. And, and, and that's why I'm, you know, I'm trying to make all this money before the Big Bud expansion comes out. Because the Big Bud stuff is super expensive. I mean, I know, I think the tractors each are like half a million. Ah! Oh gosh, I thought I just knocked over a bottle of water onto my lap, which thankfully I didn't. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pull up uh, a fact sheet. I'm probably going to do uh, the fact sheet video 
later this week. I don't know if there are any additional fact sheets coming out between now and release. They, uh, Giants has released a few fact sheets, um, like on their Facebook and maybe on their Twitter. I'm not. I'm not really on Twitter that often, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I'm just trying to look through. Uh, now my email is going crazy, if you can hear that in the background. I, I must have gotten like a lot of emails today. Wow. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna try to, huh, no messages. Oh yeah, there we there we are. So Big Bud fact sheet one and two. Those are just, oh, the Big Bud seven forty seven is four hundred and five thousand dollars. So you know almost half a million dollars. That should be the larger of the two tractors. The seven, the sixteen V seven forty seven. Only one of those was ever made. It's one thousand one hundred horsepower, which is really amazeballs. Pretty big. Um, Back sheet three and four is not too interesting. That's kind of interesting. Here we go. Big Bud tractor. The Big Bud 450 is the smaller of the two tractors that we'll be getting. That one is going to be priced at um, $225,000 or monies, you know, depending on which currency that you choose. And it's 500 horsepower. So that's still pretty good. We doing on time here seven minutes yeah we still got um now one of the really cool things i'm looking forward to is the uh greg i don't know if it's gregory or gregoire benson spsl 9 it is a 10.5 meter wide wow Requires 550 horsepower, costs $130,000, and it is, you know, it's practically like two of the widest plows we can get. I think the widest plow we can buy right now that's in-game is what, like six meters or something wide? Um, and then we've got a uh, Hatson Bilcher Terminator. PH18, which is an 18 meter wide um, cedar, uh, does both seeds and fertilizer. So uh, I can't tell whether or not it cultivates, though. So it might, it might not. Keep my fingers crossed on that. And that's the last fact sheet that I have. Um, I guess I guess they've released eight fact sheet eight fact sheets so far. So I'll probably shoot uh, Giants an email tonight uh, asking whether or not uh, they've got any more to release, and then um, I'll probably put that together that video together later this week or. You know, when I think all the remaining fact sheets are out there. Or who knows, maybe I'll just do one a little earlier and then leave some of the fact sheets off. It's not really that big of a deal. Either way. And then uh, once the expansion comes out, I'll probably have a video showcasing all the parts. So, yeah, I made about um, well $5,000 off of that field. And let's just look. So, yes, we are up to... The lowest price possible. So three hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars is how much this field is going to cost. Um, I need to earn that money very soon to uh, get that going. All right. So in the meantime, what's going to happen <clears throat> between now and the next episode? I will not be doing another time lapse. Um, we are going to let's see hire that worker and then I'm gonna get this guy over here to 
start seeding on this field. We were running really low on seed right here. That should be enough to get that field done, I would think. Um, we're going to get this guy started. And he's just going to plant corn. Like so. And so, uh, when we come back for the next episode, um, I'm not exactly sure where it will be. We'll, I'll probably be at the beginning of the next uh, stage for... Um, Or, the, you know, the next harvest, maybe, I think. You think? Do I think? I don't know if I think or not. I do, oh, and I did want to look at pigs really quick. We now have 271 left. Cleanliness is dropping. Um, I may actually use this uh, growth cycle to plant some sugar beets as well. Because Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I always forget. I have sugar beets in storage so pigs are good pigs are good um and i'll just pretty much continue to sell pigs um we'll probably get them down to around 200 or so 220 maybe you know as always the more pigs we have the more quickly they reproduce um and right now we need lots and lots of money Get back to the map here so that I can finish off field 23. So yeah, that's going to be it uh, for this episode. So guys, thank you once again for hanging out with me and watching and keeping up with my uh, series. Please, as always, do not forget to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. And please leave a comment. Let me know how you like the uh, time lapse. If you want me to do more of those and and kind of give you uh, you know a deeper insight on, as to what uh, what I'm doing here on my farm. Um, you know, let me know. Actually, type in the comments. This is what you want me to do, and uh, and I'll look at doing that because you know I'm just trying to to change things up. Uh, G uh, well, April has been a slow month. It's it's always this time of year is always slow for YouTubers. It's just kind of the way it is. And um, so hopefully things will pick back up pretty soon, but uh, definitely can use your support. And I thank each and every one of you who hangs out and watches uh, my episodes. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me that, uh, that you like me enough to hang out with me. <laughs> well, that is it for Farming Simulator 17 for today. Well, I'll be back tomorrow with more Farming Simulator. I am Brad M73 as always. Bye for now.